took about seven hours to get from Santa Cruz to Lone Pine. There was a lot of desert, and as we got closer, the mountains got higher. And as it got later, the clouds over the mountains got darker. plan was to start at Whitney Portal at about 8,000 feet. From there, we would climb to the top of Mount Whitney and back down in one day. It was a 22-mile round trip with a little over 8,000 feet of elevation gain. stayed at the Whitney Portal campsite that night, hoping that the raindrops and wind would ease up the next day. trail camp which is right up here he saw the switch packs and he was like not for me and uh, now he's turned down and he said uh, <laughs> that his gps was saying he's gone way more miles than the map is saying <laughs> all right what does the sign say turn back now i was so scared it said nothing it was blank because uh the guy was so hypoxic he couldn't formulate a word <laughs> <laughs> bubble too. <laughs> see, you're, see you're a frog. <laughs> there we are. Trail camp, 12,040 feet. The beginning of the 99 switchbacks. Right up there, 2.2 miles to trail crest, which is up by those jagged spires.
do a bunch of switchbacks, then you do a bunch more switchbacks, and then you do a bunch more switchbacks when it's all dark. And then the sun comes up, and then we only have 99 more switchbacks, but they're a lot steeper, so. I'm feeling pretty pumped though, because we pretty much are as far as that dude down there who uh, just started like five minutes ago. Yeah. In two days to do what we did in three hours, four hours. I'm feeling good. There's Kathleen doing switchbacks. It's David doing switchbacks. There's me doing switchbacks. <laughs> So we're holding a pretty good pace. We're somewhere in the middle of 99 switchbacks. Surprised at uh, how well my legs are holding up. Kathleen's crushing it. Blake's leading the way. You probably hear my breath, definitely a little winded. Yeah. know how many switchbacks we've gone we kind of stopped counting I guess I'm feeling pretty good my legs feel strong definitely feel the altitude which is an issue with me but overall feeling all right feeling like my cardio is keeping up with me we aren't to the uh, super steep part yet so we'll see how it goes that mountain is starting to look pretty close though and yet so far away. Oh. Well, we're still going up 99 switchbacks. Overall, I feel pretty good actually, a lot stronger than uh, I was anticipated. I'm not really fatigued very much and I don't really seem to be out of breath. However, I do keep fighting uh, the foot cramping a bit. So that's not as fun, but the views are great and looking forward to being at the top. All right, we just hit 13,000 feet, still doing switchbacks. Uh, Elevation definitely getting to me. Um, my head's pounding. I can I can feel my heartbeat in my ears. We got about 10, 1500, wait, let's see. Three, what did I say, 13,000 feet? And we're going to, we're going to 14, 1,500, so that and some math. That's how, we got, how much we got left. I feel drunk. I'm still powering up this mountain. There's whatever it's called, lake. Uh, there's some random mountains. Some more random mountains. And uh, pretty sure that's where we're going. So, uh, yeah. All right, back to it. Definitely feeling the elevation at this point. Oh, you can like feel your heartbeat course all through your body. It's crazy. It's like a bass drum up in my head. Just keeping a pretty even pace, which is awesome. I'm a little concerned about the weather starting to roll in. It's definitely thickening up with the clouds. So the clouds are getting bigger, darker, and it just started snowing. So that'll be interesting. Oh, look at that. There's the other side. That's east. And 
that's west. We're a little worried by the clouds. Uh, some hikers before us said that there was some hail over here on this side of the mountain. So we're trying to get up and down as fast as we can. Body's still feeling pretty good. Happy about that. It's just uh, energy level. The altitude just kind of zaps me. Every step, every breath kind of makes me want to stop. So uh, that's where I'm at, but we're pretty close. There's definitely kind of a little sense of urgency right now. Personally, really hoping we make it. So I think maybe I've gotten a little bit used to the altitude because some of the symptoms have leveled off. My feet definitely hurt, but I'm so close to the summit, I can actually see it at this point. Spirits are high. We're almost there. It's enticingly close. It's still really far away. Mental games are setting in a little bit. I'm just like everything in my body says to stop. Everything in my mind says to keep going. And it's going to be the most spectacular feeling at the top. I'm sure that was Kathleen and Blake. We do a lot of memorial workouts back at the house to uh, remember the fallen. And I find myself like using a similar mental state uh, right now. As in, uh, it doesn't really matter what my body's feeling. Uh, you better keep pushing it for those who can't because they won't have the opportunity. We're gonna try to push it the rest of this way. So, still not quite to the summit. Things have changed in a short amount of time. Pain definitely starting to set in. Kind of all over, mostly in my feet. Altitude, sickness, kind of coming back, going down into my stomach. But, overall, morale is high. I'm still excited to get to the top. We are so close. Trying to keep my mind in check. Try not to get too excited. Weather's definitely turned. It's uh, chilly. <sighs> Getting super pumped though. Trying uh, not to get too pumped. <sighs> but this is cool. This part sucks. I feel like we should, I feel like we've earned being there by now. <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't feel like we need to go up any higher. I feel like, I feel like we've done enough. But uh, it's not even that steep. I'm just I'm hurting, finally. It's been the snow or hail or whatever you want to call it. It's kind of coming and going. It's picked up a little bit. Almost there. Kathleen's crushing it. Badass chick. You can see the cloud, cloud layer that's looking north towards Kings Canyon, Sequoia. I didn't think I'd get emotional. I usually don't. I've done a lot of this kind of thing, but I'm definitely feeling it. Basically, I do this for two reasons. One is for myself personal goals that I want to accomplish but the other one is for my boys and I just want them to know that no matter how difficult no matter how much pain, pain you experience sometimes in life push through don't give up. 
and just keep your eye on that goal, no matter what it is. And I hope that sticks with them for their whole life. There's the top right there. My wristwatch is broken, my shoes are untied, time is a ticking, and so is the tide, but I am not worried, things are what they are, come rain or come shine or a shooting star. I've been to the south, I've been to the north, east and the west, the middle of course. I may have been astray, but I've never been lost, I've never been beat by the road I've crossed. So pumped we made it to the top. Uh, a lot of emotions, you know, the, uh, Blake, when we were about, uh, maybe 500 feet from the summit, said it was, uh, this trip was about the, uh, destination in itself. You know, typically we relax and it's all about the journey and everything, but this one, there was something special about the, uh, the benchmark. I'm inclined to agree. I think it's, uh, kind of representative, at least for me, this trip. A lot of stuff in life just kind of gets in the way. And you're like, man, how do I fight back? And uh, being on top of this mountain is like fighting back. Then to share it with uh, my wife and your best friend, that's uh, pretty awesome. Kathleen's a badass. Blake's a good dude. I know Kirby we would have uh, crushed this. Shout out to you, man. I know you wanted to be here. There's no doubt you would have been sitting here with us. Views are amazing. It's cold as balls. Probably need to start thinking about getting down here. But, uh, unbelievable experience. All right, down the mountain. In the end, it was about a 16 hour day of hiking and climbing up and down that mountain. We each left a piece of ourselves up there and took away something different and it's an experience we'll never forget.